What's up, fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my whole entire lipstick collection. Now today I'm going to be showing you my favorite brands, my favorite finishes from lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip stains, liquid lipsticks. Uh, I have never done this before. Now I will tell you, I decluttered my lipstick area probably like about three to four months ago, I believe, and I got rid of a hundred plus lipsticks. I had two huge bags and I was so embarrassed. There was some nasty smells, lots of dusty and crusty lipsticks, and color that I knew I just wouldn't use. Now that I've been organizing my area even more, I said, you know what? I wanna go back to my lipstick collection and let's see if I can declutter even more because I wanna downsize it and I wanna add in new lipsticks, but I just don't wanna keep piling on where I can't use some of my favorites. By doing this video and going through all my stuff, I found some of my favorite, favorite brands and finishes all over again. I'm not gonna say I know all the rules because I go by how long I've had it and sometimes when I've had it for a long time, if it doesn't smell, and I really really love the color. I'm not gonna lie to kick it I keep it just as long as there's no like weird bumps or mold or crust or anything that just looks a little a little sus I know lots of people love to hold on to certain makeup products that they just love and lipsticks is definitely one of mine I did declutter some more so I was really happy. It wasn't a lot, but it's better than nothing So now let's get to my lipstick collection here are my three main lipstick drawers. Now I have already decluttered a lot of lipsticks, but I still just wanna go through them again and show you my collection. So the first drawer I have are all lipsticks. My second drawer, I have liquid lipsticks. And then I also have a couple more lipsticks in the front. In the last one, I mainly have all lip glosses. There might be a couple that are out of place, but this is the lip gloss drawer. Okay, so let's start off with my lipstick drawer. Like I said, this is gonna be a lipstick collection, a little bit of a declutter if I can, because I have already gotten rid of 100 plus lipsticks. And I wanna show you some of my favorite colors or formulas. First off, I have my Christian Dior lipsticks, my YSLs and Bobbi Browns in the front. Right next to it, I have all my Estee Lauder and NARS. And this next one, I have all of my MAC lipsticks, including some retro mattes, which are the liquid lipsticks. Now, if some of the tops kind of look different, it's because PR sent samples, and sometimes PR does look different. On the back side, now I have some stick lipsticks, which aren't very many. Back here, I have all of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. The next section, I have some Marc Jacobs. I have Dose of Colors. I have Vibe Beauty. Now, let me start off with my favorite drugstore lipsticks. And just by looking at all the colors, I'm probably going to keep most of them. Uh, one of my favorite formulas is from L'Oreal, and it is the color Riche Line Glossy Fawn. It is perfect all year round because it gives the most beautiful shine and it's really nice and balmy, and it just moisturizes your lips. Um, I burned myself on the oven, so that's what that scar is. I am a fan of Maybelline lipsticks. Sometimes they can get a little bit too drying. For instance, this is the shade All Out Pout. Oh, that's actually really, really pretty. And one of my new discovered favorite lines from, I think two years ago is from Revolution, and it's called the Renaissance Lipstick. Now, these are some new shades I haven't opened up yet, but I'll show you this one right here. This one is in the shade Awaken, and these are so pigmented and really, really moisturizing. I love the packaging. It feels super sleek and very expensive when you look at it. So that's why I didn't mind keeping these unopened ones. Like for instance, this one in Cliche, which is a nice bright pink. Um, I knew that I was gonna eventually start using them since I decluttered a lot. My other favorite lipsticks from Milani. I Am Pretty. It's a gorgeous nude. Along with the shade I Am Awesome, I do like combining these. This one's more peachy nude. And I have my Laura Mercier and I have ColourPop and La Reina. I think this brand is available at Tarte. Oh, that just totally came out. All right, well, I'm just gonna take that as a sign. Oh yeah, it got totally smashed. Look how I'm holding it, like <laughs> what is this? Things like this, I don't like it when they get kind of loose. For this one falling apart, this one can definitely go. Laura Mercier, like this one right here, which is pretty similar. They glide on really beautiful. And then I love Just a Tint from ColourPop. It just gives you literally the name, just a tint. <laughs> My lips, but better type of color. Now let's move on to MAC. I personally will always have a connection with MAC because that was the first brand that I ever bought that was considered like high end. It was honestly the cool thing to buy. <laughs> this is one of my very first colors and I don't think I will ever get rid of this and this is the color B Cup. I will tell you right now, this is a horrible color but it's what I picked back in the day and it really holds a lot of sentimental value because my dad did purchase this for me. 
So I always just want to keep it and I'm going to swatch it for you guys on camera. I haven't swatched it in forever. It's basically a pearl like frosted pink. I know, look at that. I can't believe that was the shade I wanted. I guess this is what I thought was cool. So I wish they would bring back this shade and it's called the Enchanted One. I ended up buying a couple backups when this collection came out and I just loved the packaging with like the raindrops on it. It's literally my favorite color. Like I said, you guys are totally gonna see a trend. So if you guys are nude lovers, you're gonna love this video. Now, as far as the regular line, um, you can't really go wrong with Velvet Teddy. This one is just a classic, so I definitely recommend this one. Looks beautiful on a lot of people. Another one that I am obsessed with and I have always constantly repurchased this one is called Kind of Sexy, another go-to of mine. If I were to suggest like a really fun shade, where is it? Okay, so I found it, you guys. I have a backup drawer in my makeup collection where it's all like my top, top faves. And this is one of them and it is Lady Danger from MAC. This is my ultimate favorite, favorite red orange lipstick. I have used this for so many years. It is so bright. This will look beautiful on every skin tone. You can't go wrong. I always get compliments on it and I'm so glad I opened this back up. You guys are gonna see some Instagram pictures with this lipstick color because it is so bomb. Put that one back and then I ended up finding these two. For some reason, these were in my backup drawer and they're not backups. This one's called Sultry Move and it's a powder lipstick. I really do like their powder lipstick line. This is the shade Reverence. So that's like a nice, soft, dusty pink. Let's go into this section right here. It's not really too exciting. Makeup Forever, Bite Beauty. I'm so sad that Bite Beauty discontinued a lot of my favorite shades, like Honeycomb. This is definitely a repurchased one. I saw people buy them all out because they were so cheap. Can't get it, so I'm not gonna show these ones. There's no point. Uh, Dose of Colors, I have Hey Girl. I believe this is from the Katie and Desi line. And I think it's from their second round because I remember the first round, the lipsticks did not look good on me. This section right here, I'm not really gonna show much because it's nothing that's popping out at me. Next up, we're gonna go to my bad and bougie section, which is the YSL, Bobbi Brown, and Christian Dior. To be very honest, they are not my favorite lipsticks. Uh, before, I used to treat myself to the YSL lipsticks because they look so beautiful. Princess packaging. This one's in the shade number, oh. It's not even back here. And this was the one shade I would repurchase over and over. They smell really good, they're really beautiful, but now, I mean, this used to be the lipstick where I used to say, okay, if you're gonna splurge for your birthday, buy one of these, and now I don't even say that. Could I tell you which lipstick to splurge on? Oh, it's kinda hard, maybe I'll think about it towards the end. Go through a phase of loving these Christian Dior lip glosses just because they are very, very plush and they just feel so comfortable on the lips. They just feel pillowy. The Dior liquid, and they get very, dr very drying. Now, I love the shade. It's beautiful, but I notice after a while, my lips are literally annihilated. I'm gonna keep it because I paid a pretty penny, and I know I can just always slam some gloss on it. As far as Bobbi Brown, there is a certain pink one I love. Oh, it's this one right here, and it's in the shade Mauve Over. It's a beautiful powder finish, and it's matte. And even though it's matte, this one doesn't dry down my lips. This is probably one of my favorite colors, but as far as the line, and you know, it's decent. Okay, so next up we have my Estee Lauder. Now for these lipsticks, the only thing I don't like about them is the packaging. To me, it is just so ugly because it looks like you're wearing a tester lipstick, doesn't it? Also the shape of it, it is a little bit awkward at first, but I actually came to really enjoy it afterwards because it kept like a really nice point. 430, crazy beautiful. See if I'll keep it, oh yeah, it's a really nice natural light pink. But I do love the lipstick formula. I got really, really obsessed with a certain one. Hold on, I think it's on top of my vanity. Shade 110, raw sugar. This one I was wearing nonstop. So as you can see, I ended up turning it into almost like a regular lipstick. I didn't really keep the other angle. And I like it because it's more moisturizing but it's also pretty creamy so I just really love the shade I found that this color specifically went with so many different makeup looks where if I said I don't know what lipstick I want to wear I was grabbing this one for a long time so for this shade I'm actually gonna let it go because it's not really wowing me this one's in the shade strapless so I'll see if somebody wants this one for my family so I also found this shade right here but you know I have a lot of shades like this one so I'm gonna let this one go as well now next up are my NARS lipsticks this one's in the shade Julie right here they're very very luxurious because they're magnetic 
Anna is a big time favorite of a lot of people. As you can see, mine got so smashed. This one is my second one, cool tone pink, and I love this one during winter. And I do know Anita is another one that I have repurchased. It's just a great every day. I wanted to show you this beautiful orange from MAC as well. This one's called Sushi Kiss. It looks very bright, but I'm telling you, it is so sexy on. I don't know what it is, but it's like the perfect amount of brightness in like a bright, light orange. So that is it for the lipstick section, pretty much. I do have a top vanity lipstick holder, which I'll show you at the end, but this is a majority of my collection. Kind of wish I got rid of a couple more. I feel like I want to get rid of more Estee Lauder. I'm going to get rid of this color right here. It's just too light. I know the packaging and it's just, I don't get super excited to wear it. Oh, that is definitely too bright of a pink right now. And I have other shades like that, so I'll get rid of this one as well. Look at me, out of nowhere, I just like wanna get rid of everything. At least I got rid of these two. <laughs> okay, so now I have my liquid lipstick drawer. So back here I have my Flower Beauty. I love, love, love these. They last a long time. BH, some affordable ones right here. We're probably gonna go through these because I can already see some that I don't care for already. I have all of my collab lippies, which I absolutely love. And I am part of the collab makeup team, so definitely not getting rid of any of these, but I'll show you some of my favorite colors. Now I have the NARS PowerPoint. Um, I think they're called the PowerPoint, right? Yeah, the Power Matte Lip Pigment, not PowerPoint. <laughs> not like a presentation. Hey guys, PowerPoint time. Next up, I have some Bobbi Brown, which I actually prefer their liquid lipsticks over their lipsticks. I just think that they last a long time and the formula is amazing. I have some Sigma, some Jouer. I will say Jouer are the ones that I threw out the most when I decluttered. I probably threw out about 30 lipsticks alone because I noticed that their lipsticks go bad pretty quickly, unfortunately. Next up, I have my Pixie, which is one of my favorite affordable drugstore liquid lips. And then I have some Too Faced right here. Just Let's start off with Flower Beauty. Now, even though I love this line, I'm just gonna go through all the colors. Lay them out and let's see which ones I really want. <sighs> I want them all. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this one because I already know I'm not gonna be wearing it and this one's called Dark and Stormy. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, but that's really cool, right? Because I don't have a liquid lip like that. But I know I'm not gonna wear this anytime soon, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Probably gonna keep one dark one. If anything, I'll keep this one. Let's do a swatch of this one for like fall. So I'm gonna keep that. I haven't really used that too much. Now I have doubles in some of these. Um, I have doubles in Bear Honey. I'm not sure which one is older or has less product. Ooh, this one looks like it's getting pretty dry. Uh, but there still is product. Let me see in this one. This is one of my favorite shades. That's why I have two of them. I'm going to let this one go and I'm going to keep this one right here. I have a beautiful red. One of my top faves, Scarlet Letter. Highly recommend this one. It's like that perfect cherry red. This formula is whipped and it feels moisturizing, but it dries matte and it lasts so long. Now this shade is pretty light. I'll probably get rid of it. What I was doing was I was mixing it in with the other shades. I definitely haven't mixed this in with anything in a long time, so I'm gonna let that one go. Now the Pixie are some of my favorite, and these are the ones that were on my lipstick holder, and these are the main four that I do wear. Now I do love the formula, um, but I'll probably get rid of some of them. Like this, this one, I haven't used this one at all. And I already have like a red, so I'm gonna let this one go. It is really pretty though. Would I wear that? Would I wear that? I'm gonna give it a try, so yeah. But one of my top ones is called Bare Beauty. It just goes well with so many different lip liners as well. And then I also love Bare Matte. This one is an amazing, like super warm nude peach, but like a burnt peach color. Non-drying, they last a long time, and they're so nice and thin. So I just realized I have two of the same shade because I do love this one. I remember purchasing it again. So I'm gonna keep the newer shade and get rid of the old one. Okay, so now I have my Too Faced Liquid Lipsticks, and I just smelled this one, which is called Why Not, and it has a dusty, weird smell to it. I have not used this one in such a long time, so, Okay, see this one smells okay. Oh my gosh, you guys have to really smell your lipsticks because sometimes they seem fine. This one was okay, but they're really not. This one is pretty light. I doubt I don't want to keep I don't want to keep any mixer shades. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one's called Child Star. And this last one is part of their line where they donate to different uh, animal shelters, animal uh, foundations called Melted Clover. Shouldn't yeah, it doesn't smell bad. 
It's not that old. These can tend to dry out your lips, so you have to make sure that you properly prep them if you're gonna be wearing this brand. Up next, I have my Bobbi Brown Liquid Lipsticks. Now, I did get rid of a lot of different shades, so these are the four that I kept. This formula is so pigmented. This one, I'm surprised I'm not even out of yet. This one's called the Luxe Liquid Lip Shine in Mod Pink number five. You would think that this is like just a matte gloss, I mean a matte liquid lipstick, but it goes on so moisturizing and it lasts a super long time. I actually prefer their liquid lipsticks and high shine lips, liquid lipsticks compared to their lipsticks. I don't know, I just find that they last longer, they have higher pigment and they don't dry out the lips. And like I said, my Jouer ones are the ones that went bad right away and these ones are the only standing ones out of my entire collection. They all dried out all of my beautiful pinks and mauves and nudes because they have some of the best range of nudes in their line. Is it dried out yet? It kind of went, oh yeah, see, it's already getting gunky. I could tell by how it's applying. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get rid of this one, which that sucks. This one's called Creme Brulee. Totally one of my favorite shades, and I feel like it also changed shades just after time. Also this, I think I kept it because I said, oh, you never know when you're going to wear it. Yeah, exactly, never. So I'm going to get rid of this one, and it's also getting a little bit gunky, pretty thick. And now let me check the others. Okay, all of them look good. Uh, I do have a double of tan line, which is this one right here, the really nice shimmery one. They have some beautiful lip toppers. Look at that pigment. It's just so metallic, it's sparkly, it's really fun. I love adding these in the center of the lip, but I'm gonna let one of them go, which is this one, because this one is the older one and I could just tell from texture. I have my Dosa Color lipsticks, and one of my favorites that I recently bought, well, not recently, but my newest one is from the mini line. You guys know I'm a big time Disneyland fan, and this one is called uh, Botiful. And this one's just like a really beautiful everyday nude. I think they have a really great selection of liquid lipsticks. The one thing I will say I noticed with Dosa Colors, I feel like they don't have as many promotions or deals like other brands. So I only really purchase them whenever it's Black Friday or Christmas time um, or maybe a New Year's sale. But that's the only time I, I really purchase them. Okay, so here's my NARS liquid lipstick collection that I love. But... I was looking at some of the shades and I noticed I really don't need any of them, but now I know what I did. I got rid of a ton of shades from the other brands just so I could keep shades like these two. And it's because in case I do ever need a shade, I definitely love the power. Why do I keep wanting to say PowerPoint? It's the power mat. So I keep telling myself, why do I have all these shades? And I totally get it because I do love the power mat line. Uh, this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I was wearing this nonstop. It's very, very comfortable, a beautiful peachy nude, as you can see right there. This one's in the shade Get Dirty. I love any of their liquid lips that it's in the line, the Velvet Lip Glide. These are like heaven. If I were to recommend a luxurious lipstick, it's gonna be this one. It's, oh my gosh, just even just gliding it onto my hand. It's so silky, it's so pillowy. The lip glide is the way to go. So next up, let's go into my collab lipsticks. Sorry if I also sound really tired. It is one, or let me see what time it is. It's 2.36 in the morning, oh my gosh. Okay, but I wanted to do this video. So, so here are my collab liquid lipsticks and I'm not even just saying this just because I am a part of the group. I've gotten my family and friends on it. I've gotten lots of you guys on it, and it is such an amazing formula. It reminds me of actually the Power Matte line from NARS. It's very pigmented. It glides on. It lasts such a long time. It's a perfect, like, thin formula. So let's just do a glider. Look at that. That's a lot of pigment. This one is not limited edition. This one's called Nonstop. My favorite shade from our line for the liquid lipsticks, it's a beautiful nude. This one is Beauty Call, and it's just like a beautiful, bright, vivid shade. Perfect for summertime. Look at that. And it doesn't streak. You notice how sometimes when you get like those neon shades, they start to streak? Ours do not. Um, oh, and I love this shade right here, our orange shade. This one is in Charmed. You guys know I'm all about the oranges for summer right here. 
that was amazing. And then the other one, which I thought was so cool, which I showed last year is called Private Affair. And it's like such a unique, like burnt orangey brown, my favorite fall color. You guys will not be disappointed. Let me know down below if you guys have already tried some. This last section, there's so many different brands. So I'm just gonna put them all out and let's see what I want. I don't even know where to start. Let's start off with the ColourPop ones because ColourPop, I had so many of these ultra satins and they ended up all going bad. See, this one already smells bad. So maybe I didn't smell it, but this one's gonna have to go. I love ColourPop though, the satin line. This one's okay. Okay, so we got one that we can save. Now, just looking at the colors, color-wise, I'm gonna get rid of this dark burgundy from Makeup Forever. I know I won't grab for that. Uh, the Sephora one, now that I look at it, I've had this for way too long, but the Sephora ones don't sleep on them. If you're on a budget and you don't wanna go to the Too Faced or the NARS or any other liquid lip like Bobbi Brown, those ones definitely are higher priced. Don't sleep on the Sephora ones, they are so good. I actually ended up having the whole entire line but I had them for quite a while that I unfortunately had to get rid of so many shades. So these are like the three survivors, but it's such a good one. Let me smell this color pop. Well, actually, I don't even like the shade, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. And let's see, I love BH. I feel like I haven't used a lot of BH in a while though. I'm gonna get rid of this brown shade from BH because I know I probably won't wear it. Okay, this is a lip gloss and this wasn't even supposed to be here. So I'm gonna put this on the side. Here's an intense butter gloss. I was so into these when they first launched. I got every single color. I still would recommend these. This is a great drugstore lip gloss. It's like a gloss, but then also a lipstick because it's the intense line. There's just so much more pigment so check this out this one's a soft matte cream and you know I really don't care for these these dry out your lips right away and this is a brand new one but I'm gonna let this one go I think that's about it seems like I'm gonna keep everything else except this one from wet and wild because I know I won't end up using this one for my last drawer I have my lip gloss bin now okay this one is actually an eyeshadow palette that I picked up in Thailand I love picking up makeup items especially when I travel outside the country so I'm just gonna put this on the side um, some of these items are from Thailand like right in here like their lipstick I remember this is a L'Oreal 30th anniversary one that I picked up from over there oh I have some collab accidentally in here because this whole entire thing is all lip glosses huh Oh no, this is my shade. This is my shade that I came up with for my collab limited edition lipstick and Peachy Keen. So I think I just put them back there as backup. Right here I have miscellaneous ones, Drugstore, L'Oreal. This one's ColourPop. I have some Maybelline. Um, all this stuff, oh, you know what? I just realized what I did. This is my lipstick that I came out with with Gerard Cosmetics and Destiny. This one I got from a swap from my very, very first swap on YouTube and I just thought it was so cool. Oh no, it was this one right here, my Chanel. And then for my second one, I got this one, a Gerlon. And these are all sentimental lippies. So I'm actually gonna put this back right here. Do you guys keep sentimental things? I should probably put my MAC B Cup lipstick in there as well. I have some Jouer lip glosses, Smashbox. I have Buxom, Too Faced, Bobbi Brown, NARS. I have all of my MAC ones. Lip wise, I will tell you right now, I am obsessed with the Buxom Bubba Plump. Glossy, just stunning on the lips. I'm so surprised I haven't worn this in a while. And it's because, like I said, I just recently decluttered and they are so glossy. Wait, why is this the same shade? You guys, I bought the same shade. Why did I do that? That's how much I freaking loved this. So I'm gonna have to figure out which one is newer. I can't believe I just did that. Don't tell me. Okay, no, this one was my favorite. It's in the shade Honeydew. I love the Too Faced Peach Collection. This was my favorite. I probably already purchased two of these already because I love this just as a really nice light topper off of any nude lipstick. This was definitely holy grail. Here is my Bobbi Brown and NARS lip gloss collection. Now I just noticed I have two velvet lip glides right here. So I think I'm gonna actually add the ones that I had in my liquid lipstick drawer and just add them to this one because when you see the finishes, they are very, very glossy. So it's just kind of fitting to put them in here. Here are my Bobbi Brown. One of my favorite shades is this one, Mango Mood. It's just like really fun and they have way more pigment than you would really guess. Now this is definitely um, not a super shiny gloss, but it's not a liquid lipstick, so that's why I kind of stuck it in this category because see, it's kind of balmy like the NARS one, and it's definitely not a matte finish. See, a little bit light, let's see. 
but it might also go. Um, maybe this one can be a mixer. I wouldn't mind if it's more of like this form as opposed to a lipstick. And then all of my NARS ones, uh, this one is super old. This one's gonna have to go. And let me swatch this one. I think I kept it because the shade was pretty unique. Um, but it kind of looks like caca. <laughs> it kind of looks like baby doo-doo, doesn't it? Because I'm looking at it and it's like you could take it two different ways. So let's try to play with it. Artist Nude from Makeup Forever. This one was my favorite for so long, just last year. It just smells good, it tastes good, and it just lasts a really long time. Now these Jouer, again, like their lipstick formula, these ones were just spilling out all over the place, like just very gooey, uh, spilling out the sides. They just weren't really my favorite packaging wise. And these ones are okay, but I remember seeing a ton of them that were just full of goop all on the sides. Like this one, I could still feel the residue from other ones on it. Now, as for my MAC ones, I totally see the whole love-hate relationship with MAC. Call it a lip glass, and it's because it just looks so glossy and high shine on the lips. It's just extremely sticky. Now, I feel like they have improved their formula within the years. Like I said, I will always have a part of my heart that goes out to MAC. I do love how they have their back to MAC and you can recycle products. I think that is amazing. I wish a lot of other brands would do that. But yeah, it's definitely a sticky formula. Sometimes you need that sticky icky so you can get that longevity. So that's also a high point on their lip glosses is that these are gonna go a long way. But if your hair blows into this formula, just, just expect streaks across the cheek. And if you know, you know. Next up, I have all my miscellaneous drugstore ones. Now, these Maybelline Super Inks, I feel like they're more of a liquid lipstick, so not really sure why I put them on there because they go on like this and they stay a really long time. You need to make sure you prep your lips with this formula. So this should be going to the liquid lipstick section. Uh, I love the So Juicy line from ColourPop. It's just a very easy gloss, effortless. You don't have to like look in a mirror to really, you know, put them on. This is a liquid lipstick, so not sure why that's there. So that should be out. And so is this Ardell one, which this Ardell one is not bad and it's called Nude Photo and it just crumbled, huh? And let's do a swatch. It's an amazing formula, liquid lip. So that's going in the other drawer. All right guys, well, I think that was the last one. So it is actually the next night and it is two in the morning again. Don't know why I'm picking this time to film, but I have the last of my lippies. Now I have this right here that holds all the main lippies that I've been trying to basically use that I haven't really touched or they're some of my top faves that I just can't get enough of. And then, I don't know if you guys are like me, if you ever have like a makeup bag on the side that just has lippies that you were using and all of that, it's a situation. So, okay, so I did already show you some of my liquid lipsticks from Collab and these are the limited edition shades, unfortunately, except this one, Boy Toy. This one's super popular. I think I already showed you that. Collab Nude Addiction Dual Finish Lips. Now it's a matte liquid lipstick on one side with like a creamy finish and then on the other side is a gloss. These are really good. I love this shade from Milani and this is actually my second one because I lost my first one. Another YSL right here. This one's obviously limited edition. It's says it's number 70 right there. ColourPop lipstick in Quickie. There's some really fun glosses and this is from a Bretman Rocks collaboration with Wet n Wild and I did a full on video on these as well. Oh, also I redid my nails in case you're wondering if they look a little bit different. Um, let's see, so my Holy Girl gloss though, if you guys really wanna know, are the Fenty Beauty ones. I am obsessed with them. I have the little mini set that they launched. Uh, I think it was like right before Christmas time, but it's still out. And it is such a good one, especially if you are a fan of them. Oh, I love them so much. Along with their liquid lipsticks, I love the packaging of these. This shade, Unbutton, is so pretty for summertime. It's really nice and bright. And then of course I have my neutrals, which you can't go wrong, but if I had to pick my holy grail number one gloss, it's gonna be the Fenty Beauty. 
It is so comfortable. It tastes super good. It makes your lips look so sexy. Like you need to try this line. I keep suggesting the smaller ones just because you get so many different colors. And surprisingly, a color like this or the brown one and the pink one, they blend really beautifully where they're not too vivid and they're very wearable. Let's see if I have anything else I really wanna show. Okay, so I ended up loving these Kylie liquid lips. My favorite is Commando, One Wish, and Savage, and Bear. So I really love these ones. I don't know where Commando is, but they're all neutral shades. They last a really long time. They have a nice vanilla scent, and they don't dry out my lips. When they first launched, I don't know, I didn't really care for them, and now I'm all about them. Oh, here's this pink shade I love from Bobbi Brown. I know I showed you this formula already. This one's in Camisole. Anything else I really want to show from here? I have some Pop Beauty. I haven't really tried these ones. I want to experiment with them. This one is in the shade Plump Peach. So I put lippies that I want to try out. And again, of course, it's an orange. It looks a little, little streaky, but I think once you layer it, it'll be okay. I'm really curious on this formula It's gonna if it's going to dry out my lips. I'm curious. Have you guys ever tried these? Oh, I love this Physicians Formula uh, liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade All Natural Nude. Oh, this is so good. It feels like a high-end lipstick. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of the Christian Dior just because it is pillowy and it just has a lot of moisture. I'm looking in my bag. I have more Fenty Beauty. Uh, I have all of my Selena lipsticks. If you guys didn't see that video, Whoops, there's a hair. I did the full on collection. That's it. I'm kind of glad I decluttered at least some of my lipsticks. Obviously I didn't declutter anything from here because these are the ones I want to use. I'm excited just because I do want to add some more lipsticks that I already have um, that I haven't tried out yet and I want to add them to my collection. I'm excited to make more room for more lipsticks even though this is already crazy, I get it. I know I have one pair of lips, but uh, well, kind of. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, so that is it for my lipstick collection. Let me know if you guys found something that you maybe want to try, maybe a shade. I know sometimes when people watch my channel, you guys tell me that you have really similar taste in shades, so let me know if you discovered something new or a product that you probably already had, and maybe it's your holy grail as well. I'm glad I decluttered at least this much because that is a lot more than what I thought because like I said, it was a hundred plus lipsticks and that's just, I feel ugh, so gross keeping those, but you know when you just wanna hold on to stuff, but this is definitely better than nothing and I'm already ready to add in some new additions to my collection. Hashtag crazy. All right guys, I'm gonna get going. Subscribe to my channel, give your girl some love down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Whoop.